Hey everyone, Nick Berlin with Berlin Builds. Today, I wanna to talk to you about my Metabo 15 gauge angled nailer. This is my review, take it or leave it, but I'm gonna tell you what I think about it. So one thing that's nice about the gun is it does come in this case. So when you've got it in your trailer or your truck, it keeps the gun safe. And so as you open it up, you got the gun right here. Now, you can see I've been using this oh, just about every day for two months now. And my initial thoughts when I first bought it were very angry thoughts. I didn't like it because it only shot like every other nail, but it was the only gun that I had that I was using on the job, so I just kind of kept making it work. And after I shot about the first, I think, 100 nails through it, it just kind of broke in, and it's been great since then. So a few of the features on it that I really like is the way that you load it, it's pretty simple. So right now, I'm empty, so I'm gonna throw in some nails, and you've got this little slot that's right here at the bottom of the gun. So you just load them in like this. And then I've got some, let's just do two clips. So putting these two clips in, all you do is you have this as your follower in essence. And what you do is once you get the nails in, you just let go and it's loaded up. So it's really easy to load. Whenever you have to clear a jam or anything, it's actually really nice because it just has this little lever that you open up right here and you have access in to clear your jam right there. So that's nice. This actually hasn't jammed a lot on me at all. So I haven't had to do that. I haven't had to do that very often. It also has like your single fire mode and then I always call it bump fire mode and then to toggle between them, it's just this little switch that's right there. So that's really easy. Another thing that's really nice there's a button right here and that just shoots air. So if I ever need to clean the dust out of a corner before I put some baseboard in, it's really handy to have. So, you can see, it's really easy to connect and let me give you some test shots. So, good old chunk of wood, right? First, I'm gonna show you the single fire mode. So, every time I pull the trigger, it's going to shoot a nail in. You can see, it drives it deep into the material with no issues. The recoil on the gun is actually very easy to manage, but you do have to be careful to never limp wrist while you're shooting these because it won't drive the, the nail all the way into the material. So you can see on single fire mode, it drives them just below the surface of the material. And that's right where I like the nails to be. Um, it's just enough where when you're doing finish work, the painter can come in, he can putty those, but he doesn't have to use a ton of putty, but he's also not having to come in and reset all these different nails. Now these are two and a half inch nails that I'm shooting in right now, but I'm gonna show you bump fire mode. So really easy to switch over. And how this works is as I pull, when I have the trigger pulled, if I depress the nose, it will automatically shoot a nail for me. So here we go. Pretty awesome to watch, right? So you can see it has plenty of power where it can keep doing, where it can keep doing what it's supposed to be doing. I do finish carpentry full time, and I've been using this gun every day for about two months now. And while I was not impressed with the gun in the very beginning, I actually kind of like it now. It's a pretty decent gun. I picked it up for about $120, and for the price, it's been doing a really good job. If you're looking at buying a 15 gauge nailer, I would recommend this gun. It's been awesome and between all the different features that it has, such as this one, blow in the air, I love that feature. Sorry, anyways. All the different features that it has, it's been a great gun for the price. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more content like this, as well as liking the video. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments below. Thank you.